Robot arms are being used extensively for various industrial applications such as pick and place, welding, painting, etc. What if you want a robot arm to do a paint job but it results in something like this? This shows that how important it is to operate the robot manipulators safely, especially when the robot is working collaboratively with humans. With manipulator algorithms in Robotic System Toolbox, you can write code in MATLAB to define a model of an articulated robot, and you can use the inbuilt classes and functions to perform inverse kinematics and dynamics calculations on this model. Furthermore, using model-based design, you can implement complex algorithms for robot manipulators in an easier and time-efficient way. In the 2018A release, Robotic System Toolbox provides several useful blocks for manipulator algorithms in Simulink. You can use Gravity Torque block to calculate joint torques to hold the robot at a given configuration by compensating the force of gravity, or Joint Space Mass Matrix block to calculate the mass matrix for a given robot configuration, or Velocity Product Torque block to calculate the torques induced by given velocities at a given configuration. Or using these three blocks collectively, you can build a model to implement computed torque controller. You can also use forward dynamics block to obtain joint accelerations by giving applied torques and states as inputs, or even better, inverse dynamics block to calculate joint torques and maintain a specified robot state by giving joint accelerations as input. For performing calculations like robot body transformations and obtaining the geometric Jacobian, you can use get transform and get Jacobian block. Now let's go back to the concern of safe human robot interaction. In trajectory tracking control without the safety feature, when the robot collides with an unexpected object, like the styrofoam sheet, there is an undesired increase in the joint torques and that causes the damage. You can use the inverse dynamics block with additional components to implement trajectory scaling algorithm, which helps to control the speed of robot motion and regulate torque values. Robotic System Toolbox provides an inbuilt model that uses these blocks to simulate safe trajectory tracking control on a Rethink Sawyer robot arm. The models we saw for computed torque control and trajectory scaling can be used along with Simscape multibody that helps to visualize and simulate the robot and reaction forces. In this model, when the toggle switch for trajectory scaling is on, the robot adjusts its motion speed according to the object interference and you can see the reduced torques and reaction forces in the plots as well as safe interaction with the styrofoam. You can use this model for any other collaborative robot arm and the Simulink manipulator blocks for several other applications like pick and place in a collaborative environment. For more details, check out the MathWorks product and support webpage for Robotic System Toolbox.